Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to a book shopping video. Would you believe I have not been to a bookshop yet this year and we're in the third month of the year. We're in March and I have not visited a bookstore at all. Who am I? Who has it? I don't know, who am I? Um, so today we're rectifying that. Um, I have mentioned this in my goals video and I think I might have mentioned it in a couple of vlogs. I am implementing a token system this year. I'm taking it more seriously than I think I ever have before. And I have this as my tracker for my tokens. So for every three books I read, I get a token. And a token means I can buy a book. So three books here, I got my little blue token and there's a cross through it because I ordered a book online. I ordered the Fairy Loot edition of Bookshops and Bone Dust. That is now on my shelf. So that one was spent. I have gathered four more tokens and I haven't bought anything. So today's the day we go to a bookshop and I aim to buy some books that I've had my eye on for a little bit and have been putting off getting. I'm talking whatever the sequel to God Killer is called, I keep forgetting. Sunbringer. Sunbringer. If I can find that, I want it. Um, and I'm also thinking the third book in Justice of Kings, Empire of Wolves? Isn't that the name of the series? That might be the name of the series. I don't know, I have it. I don't know what the third book's called, but the Richard Swan series, the last book in that. Haven't read the second one yet, but I kind of want to reread the first one and then just, you know, do them all. So they're the two that I know I'm looking for, and then I've got two more to play with. I might not spend all of them. I could be really restrained, or I could spend all of them. But you're gonna come along with us for the journey. Kath's coming too. Hi! She's gonna be camera woman extraordinaire slash spending her one token she has acquired. <laughs> Are you doing it the same way as me then, or are you? Um, I'm doing, I read less than you, so I'm doing every two books as one token. Two books as a token, okay. I like it, but the same sort of rules, like mm -hmm. you're not counting on hauls and... Not, yeah. No. Yeah. Cool. Counting DNFs if I read enough of it. If you read enough of it, yeah. I like that approach, yeah. I'm not counting DNFs because I'm mean to myself. Right, let's go find the war stones. Yay. Yay. <laughs> What's new? What is new and best selling? Anything that we want? This is kind of where I would anticipate the sequel to God Killer to be, to be fair, if not upstairs. Yeah. But I would think it would be it around here. To have a here. If there's not one here, there probably will be one upstairs. But we can. Uh, we can Okay, so she would be up here, but she's not. But she's not here. No, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot to this. Do you? Oh, glorious exploits. It's, um, what was that there again? Oh, it's, it's Greek, so <laughs> yeah. It's all you need to know. <laughs> it's written, set in like I think it's oh which island? Not Sardinia. Um, one of the other Sicily. It's like Athens invaded, they lost, and the soldiers are being imprisoned in like a death camp essentially. And two local blokes are bored, and so they start giving them food for them to put on Greek tragedy plays. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's written by an author of colour, which is also doesn't happen a lot in Not like Greek, Greek myth. Yeah. So now you know. Is Kath about to pick her one and only book that she's allowed to buy with her tokens? <laughs> Within five minutes of entering. Yeah? Hold on to it, put it in the maybe pile. Yeah? Oh, okay. Ah. Smart cookie. 
Ooh, I have a copy of this. I think my copy's got fancy edges though. I think. Peas for pizza. What is she finding? Ooh. Inspired by Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. They've rewritten it. That's annoying. That's, that's annoying. Mm -hmm. Stop that. <laughs> I don't think it cares about you. <laughs> I don't think so either. Great series down here. I reckon that last one's possibly about mermaids or Medusa. Could be either. Not quite sure though. Maybe both. Yeah, get both. Good series though. Very much enjoyed. Same for this pair that's now out in paperback. I've got the hardbacks of them, but they are very good. I enjoy very much. We are travelling upwards. Ah, how funny would it be if we approached quicker than you thought and you fell? That would be something that I would probably... Careful. <laughs> it's the sort of stuff you would do. Anyway, we are now approaching the promised land, the sci-fi fantasy section. Ah, Trials of Empire, that's what it's called. This also looks interesting. Oh, I have that. I got that in the little print as well. Is this the one that you're DNFing? DNF thing, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. I'm just bored. Garbage. Kind of want that. That looks cool. Got that. Don't know what that is. Broken binding did a very pretty edition. I was going to say that looks gorgeous. What is it? Calls to mind Game of Thrones. Sounds sick. She, she chunky. <clears throat> a dramatic reading. Lorelai Aurelius is the smartest inquisitor in the mountain city of Angris. When a mysterious tip leads her to a clandestine meeting between the church and the hated red knives, she unearths a plot that threatens not only our home, but the empire itself. The trail leads to Rylan Holbrook, a notorious thief posing as a dragon singer. Lorelai soon discovers there's more to Rylan than meets the eye. In mm. fact, he has come to Angris to solve the mystery she has just discovered. Knowing his incarceration could lead to the Red Knives achieving their goals, Lorelai makes a fateful decision. She frees him. Oh. Branded as traitors, the two flee to the city on Dragonback to the massive forest known as the Holt. Following a trail of clues, they find that the Red Knives are planning to awaken a powerful demigod in the holiest shrine in Angris. Even worse, the church is willing to allow it. The unlikely allies are forced to return to Ancris, where they must rally the very people who vowed to capture them before it's too late. This is the first book in a new fantasy series from the author of the acclaimed Song of the Shattered Sand series, The Dragons of Deepwood Fen, follows an unlikely pair as they expose the secrets at the heart of Ancris. That sounds really good. It does. I really like the sound of that. And I'm going to go check if Broken Binding still have a 30 edition. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> That's gorgeous, though. It definitely sounds up my street. So. Empire in turmoil. Dragon. That's all I need. <laughs> I have found one of the things I was looking for, though. So this will be coming home with me. I really liked... Did I really like? Is that the right word? Let's reword that. I liked God Killer. I didn't really like God Killer, but I liked it enough <laughs> for it to be one that I've like remembered and one that I'm curious enough to pick up the sequel. I think it definitely had like debut book vibes and this could possibly be better for that reason. So I want it. I've thought about it. I've been thinking about it. I've wanted it since I knew it was becoming a thing so although god killer did only get three stars from me still still want it and i'm glad that i just found it on that table speaking of god killer speaking of god killer here it is <laughs> have you found out what you needed to know yes oh Ooh. 27 okay how much is the normal one let's find out 25 sold yeah <laughs> that does technically mean that that's going to be one of my tokens though mm -hmm. so that's one token gone and here's another token gone so that's two tokens gone and what else did i say i needed empire of Fate. empire of yeah that one <laughs> i've already forgotten what it's called but i'll go and grab that in a second that's three tokens gone but i've I only got remember. one left but i can't remember the name of that book yeah i want it <laughs> I've only got one left. I very quickly spent these.
Madrid is in turmoil. The empire is in turmoil. There's a rebellion, there's empire in turmoil, there's a country on the brink of war. The only thing I'm missing is a prophecy. It's a good thing though, Jade. If you go into cardiac arrest, I now know what to do. If you can't make a decision and you end up just flailing and falling to the floor, I can resuscitate you. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Probably won't have to shave your chest either if I need I to use a I defib. Don't think so. I don't foresee that being <laughs> Madame. Oh, what is that? Ooh, an Amina, an Amina bookmark. bookmark. Because the paperback of Amina's come out. Very good book. Very much enjoyed. I don't need a third copy of it, but that was very pretty. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you I might have found my book. Have found something. It's called A Past Unearthed by Jane Yong. Um it's by Fonda Lee. Fonda Lee Simp, just here. Just yeah. just this person here? Yeah. Um, and it's set in the ooh, China when it was ruled by the Mongolians, so with Genghis Khan, so he's just died. And you follow then a boy that ends up being found by his uncle, who then puts him in a martial arts school, and he discovers the secrets of the martial arts school. And obviously I know that politically at the time when Genghis Khan died, I think that China was quite unstable. So... Sounds like there could be turmoil. <laughs> and it's translated from Chinese. Which is also very exciting. I'm happy for you. Read this. Liked this. I know that a few people didn't. I did. Have this. No. No. Absolutely not. Have the first one. Have not read it. Buying. DNF the first one. Never heard of, but that's a very pretty cover. Pass. 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 Might read the first one at some point, maybe. Read that, enjoyed that. I feel like I've heard of this, but I don't know too much about it. And that's my commentary on new fantasy and science fiction at Waterstones Ipswich. What's in the clearance bin? Not a book, but I've got some white tags. Liquidwise, I think. Anything good? Anything catch your eye? Up the stairs we go to the non-fiction area. I don't come up here all that often, other than when I go to the um, physics section. Hello from the floor of the travel section in Waterstones. Do you want to hear something really cool? Because I'm going to tell you something really cool. I have an opportunity to go to the Galapagos Islands with you. Like, what a bucket list sort of item. I've just been searching for this book. I couldn't find one on the Galapagos Islands. And I was going through this South America one. And then Kath came over and was like, uh, Jade. And just pointed to this one right in front of my face. Because, like, the Galapagos seems like such a magical mythical sort of place but it's very very real and with Trover Trip I have a trip that I believe is going live today when this video goes up and you can book on to come to the Galapagos Islands with me with me <laughs> I'm really excited at the point of filming this the trip has gone live to my patrons and there are three bookings already in three of those early bird spots have gone at the point of filming this i'm ridiculously excited it is in july 2025 so plenty of time away if you're thinking about maybe wanting to travel to the galapagos with me <laughs> i will leave the link down below so you can check out everything that is in the itinerary dates prices and so on because I'll be honest with you off the top of my head I can't remember I'm pretty sure the early bird price is $2,699 and the regular is $2,799 but check out the link down below to see all of the details you don't have to pay it all in one go you can just pay the 25% deposit and then chip away at it but look look at the sort of stuff this is sea lion beaches 
the wildlife is just so, so appealing to me. So this is the section on the Galapagos. There's the map. So many things to see. The islands lie in the Pacific Ocean on the equator. It's going to be hot. The section about it in the South America book that I was just reading. It said, um, the Galapagos Islands may just inspire you to think differently about the world. The creatures that call the island home, many found nowhere else in the world. Um, act as if humans are nothing more than slightly annoying paparazzi. We could be the slightly annoying paparazzi for those marine iguanas, you know? How cool would that be? Um, not the Bahamas, not a typical tropical paradise. Most of the islands are in fact devoid of vegetation and look more like the moon than Hawaii. So cool. The isolated group of volcanic islands and its extremely fragile ecosystem has taken on an almost mythological status as a showcase of biodiversity. Right? That's why it's such a bucket list sort of item to go and do. I'm really excited and I just thought I'd see if I could find a little book about it and tell you about it. And if you want to come, you can come. And the link's down below. Tell me your address. <laughs> so, I grew up. See that little thing where it says? That little dot? That's on, on that cleese. Yeah, that's where my mum and dad live. Is it? Yeah. In the wine and water? Yeah, in the wine and water area. Beautiful. I went to school in some but the like yeah. on that little white dot. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um what is this book? Oh road trips in France. Road trip to Cats anyone? <laughs> The astrophysics section always gets me, and this sounds really cool about the journey into white holes and what's beyond a black hole. That's very pretty. Also, they are always just gorgeous. But um, yeah, the physics stuff always, always interests me. I've got my finger stuck in the strap of the camera and I can't get it. Thanks. <laughs> right, so I think... I'm only going to be leaving with two books. And to be fair, it's the two I came in for, which is great. The other one that we found just around here, this one, I won, but the Broken Binding have the special edition with the sprayed edges and a really pretty under the dust jacket. And this one, you know, doesn't have any of those things. And I'm a sucker for a special edition, so I feel like I will probably buy that, which will be my third token. So, you know, if I were purchasing it here, I would be leaving with three books. Which is not bad. Decent. Mm -hmm. Which means I still have one token, but I'm not going to spend it just for the sake of spending, spending it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure there will be another sequel that will come out at some yeah. point, and I will need a token. So, two that I wanted one kind of impulse find but i'll get the special edition mm -hmm. um and keeping a token yeah Amazing. and cats changed her mind yes i have um i put down the a past on earth that i was talking about i've taken a picture of it though the copy's damaged as well it's which, a big rip in the back of it yeah yeah but i've taken a picture of it and we'll likely pick it up at some time in the future but we went into the non-fiction section and I found a non-fiction book that I've been wanting to read for a little while and it's The Hundred Years War in Palestine by Rashid Khalidi which is it's a history of kind of like the colonialism and then resistance from Palestinians and it's written by a Palestinian author so very topical at the minute absolutely you know Inspire now. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Seconded. No, it's fine. <laughs> Making your video political. <laughs> so I've been wanting this for a bit. So that's why I'm picking up. Well, now I really want to know what they were talking I about. Know. Just had a couple of guys walk past, and his mate went, well, "This is just far too TMI." What Tell me is? more. What is it? You've said it now. Now we're curious. Anyway, we have made our purchases. They are in. Bags. We're heading back to the car to go home and then they need to find spaces on the bookshelf. Hello, hello. It is a few hours later. I am home. Kath has also gone home, so I'm on my lonesome now. But back home with my couple of books. I think I was very restrained and very happy with my purchases. Literally exactly what I went out for. So. <laughs> 
perfect there. And I just thought I would prove to you that I'm keeping up with my token system and I'm gonna mark off one, two. So that's two more tokens now crossed off my token tracker, winner. And I do still have two tokens. I do think I'm gonna buy that other book from Broken Binding, I'll put the picture of it here. Um, I am gonna buy that. So that will be another token. I will cross that off when I do it though, in case for some reason I don't, I'm not gonna preemptively cross that off. Now though, we must find the homes for these. This is where Sunbringer will go. Hmm. I might have to do a, a do a shuffle. I don't think it's gonna. Oh no, it will. There we go. It does just fit. That was very difficult to do whilst trying to hold the camera. But there's Sunbringer in its home. And then down here we have this series. If I scooch these over means trials can go just in there. Perfect! Well there we go, there we have it. There is my little book shopping vlog for you. I hope you enjoyed coming out with me and Kath for a little bit of book shopping. I hope you had fun watching us have fun. <laughs> I like going book shopping. Who doesn't? And my token system seems to be working. My camera battery died, how rude, but my token system seems to be working. As much as I love going book shopping, the like the splurging and the impulse purchasing of books that I'm not necessarily then reading um, and stuff, I feel like this year I really do need to stop with that. And the fact that we're in March and that's the first book shopping I've done and I only got two books and I've only bought one other one online, like I'm doing fairly well. I hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed and uh, that's the end of that, so I shall see you in whatever comes next. Bye.